use the entire law. Well, when you have a piece of wood like this, see, yeah, what's going to happen now if I have the opening of that piece, you know, that's the top, and what's going to happen is these are going to radiate right down the side of the piece, like maybe a pot and glaze dripping down the side. Really, I, this, this is a part. In fact, I've got this log at home. It's just long enough to do one nice big piece. And uh, I figured it was probably it had probably gone bad. Somebody gave it to me back in the fall. It's actually still pretty pretty good. It's got some white colors in it and stuff. So, uh, but I'll turn the entire piece. Now, some of you may not have access to larger pieces. You may not have a, a big chainsaw. You may not have a truck and so forth. And so you can use some smaller pieces. Again, you need to be sure that they're pretty concentric and have a relatively sound pith to start. If you start with cracked up pith, you know, then, then you're going to have some problems. Uh, Frank Sudall, who some of you met here uh, from Canada, uh, has birch available to him. You know, and as they said, it's about all they have in Canada is, is nice white birch, but it's concentric, got the pith in the center, nice and white, uh, very stable, so it's easy to turn with the pith in it, so that's what he uses. He turns these nice end grain pieces, some of them quite large, and then carves and paints, makes them very thin. Nice stuff. It's worth the effort to me. Now, what shape is this going to be as it dries? We would expect it to stay round if we, in fact, started with a nice round concentric log. Yeah. What else is going to happen to it as it dries? Something you may not think of. What, Barry? It's going to get taller. It's going to get physically taller as it dries. Generally in this area here. Because as it gets smaller, it constricts, and what it does is it pushes the end right up. That makes sense, sir? Right? Yeah. Uh, Bob Sunday used to make these djembe drums. They'd get half an inch taller. These, in, in normal scale pieces, the kind of the size stuff I do, usually... The only consequence is it moves just enough to wreck the curve. It will really make it not so attractive. So I intentionally flatten it out just a little bit more than it looks like it wanted to be initially, hoping sort of that scientific wild, you know, what guess that it'll just that much.